Hi everyone, my name is Tony Fox from Mrs. Fox's Plans. So today I thought I would do a flip of my everyday carry. I haven't sort of shown this uh, little chunky monkey. So um, I slipped into uh, my personal rings. Of course, as you know, I do have a um, Water and a woozy. So this is my woozy, which is just gorgeous and divine. It's yeah, I love it. And um, only real issue is the size of the rings. And of course, the plotter is the same. It's got these tiny itty bitty rings. So I've got those two, which I'm not parting with it at the moment I'm still trying to um, assess because I mean at any time I could just swap out and just take what I need and put it in these and carry it but at the moment this it does not fit in uh, these rings but they're not going anywhere um, as you can see this is barely used I'm not sure why it's doing that I wonder if that's causing it no I don't know why. I might have to polish that up a bit. It's leather. So soft. Like the the look at the the plotter. And this is just a soft. So the woozy is um um a little bit thicker, so it's a little bit more sturdy. Don't know if you can see the name there. And as I said, I don't know why it's coloured like that. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about these two. But yeah, so these are my plotters. But what do I use? I actually still use the plotter inserts. So um, that's why I thought I'd do a flip and show you what I'm using and how I've got this set up. So obviously, normal things, got our pockets and got all our um, deco. It's upside down. Um, yeah, so there's just deco that I've got from bits and pieces and I've got Tassels at the end, like that's from Aura Estelle, my Coffee Monsters Co. and my little Boba coffee there. So I've got some, I can't quite remember where I got these from, but if I do remember, I'll put them in the description below. Uh, this um, is from a, um, a local to me um, in Australia, Vixie's uh, plan, so I can, I'll can i link that below. But yeah, so that's... Uh, a vellum cutout she had made for me this is from a rosy life um box uh that i got a um she does all these uh boxes these different uh themed boxes and that was from one of them that's just a plotter insert to keep that white so these are the plotter um uh inserts so this is the monthly i tab them up using the Travellers Company tabs so that I could get to them a bit easier. Obviously, I'm not very good at it. But yeah, so they generally don't come with the tabs, so they just come plain. So that's the, the monthly. You get a, a 2024 in review. You get 25. You get an age chart, So which is pretty cool. I like this because if you were born in 1971, um, this year you will be 53. I was born in 1964, so this year I turned 60. So I just think it's cool. So I just really just, I just marked off and highlighted anyone that was close to me. So then I just, uh, personal details, which I didn't even realize that. I um, probably need to put a cover over that. I didn't even think that through, did I? So, anyway, I won't go through that. So, yeah, so you got your name and address. And then on this side, it is uh, the same as this. It's just a, um, a section. And what I use it for is I put down, which I've used this because this is the weekly. So, I just use this to put people's birthdays and their dates down. So, that's what that is. So, then you go through to your monthlies. You get, this is the 2024, but you get uh, December. starts in December. And so, these are my monthlies. And obviously, as you can see, they're very well used. 
I wanted something that had everything I've done this year in it. And so this is it. Um, it's a hospital, the holidays, all those type of things are in there. So that's uh, basically all my monthlies. And um, some have a lot of things in them, some not so much. Then I was away in America, so not a lot in there. Then I wasn't using it at this point, but I did put the, the appointment in there. So we get that's last month. This is our current month. So this is next month. So I put uh, things on little post-it notes uh, if they're not sort of set in stone or appointments I think that could change or uh, may, may not change. So I can either do that or can put them in pencil, whatever works. Then we've got December and then just notes of things that I need to do in December. Um, and you get a forward plan, so you get January, February, and March. Like in theory, I could probably take those out because I'm not gonna use those because I have new inserts coming. Again, this is Raise Your Life Plans. Again, this is just a, this is plotter card. So um, it's basically drawing paper, but I like it because it actually helps to highlight or make the vellums pop. I know, strange. Another Rosie Life Plans, that's a 2024 calendar. And then this was just another vellum that was in that same box. Again, another one of the plot sheets. So this is the weekly schedule. So um, in here, it kind of shows you the layout and it's very Hobonichi um, inspired where you've got your your horizontal um, workings here and then you've got you can either do across the page or you can appointments and whatever here and then here then it's got a section here which is your um, oh and here shows you how to do it I'll show you so then you've got a section here which is where I track the weather the weather is important to me because I have rheumatoid arthritis and um, uh, fibromyalgia and a whole heap of other crap um, and it is important for me to understand what's going on with the weather because that determines what's, what sort of day I'm going to have. Today we have an overcast day and we have some rain coming and going and that really affects us and gives us a lot of pain. So you just got to make sure that you don't plan too much on days like that because uh, we don't cope really well. Pain's quite high and you can see my hands playing up so... That's why I track the weather. So as you can see, pretty simple. I do my appointments down here. Generally, we'll do my to-do lists here, uh, my weather. So it's just really um, a workhorse. This is just a workhorse. Yes, there is a lot of stickers in here because why not? I can't have a planner without something in it. And... Um, I use, you can see I've got a lot of Coffee Monsters Co. I've got a lot of everyone really, and um, I just use whatever it is that I have. See, so again, still the same sort of thing. As I said, appointments and uh, different things, what I have to do on the other side. So yeah, so that's basically all my weeklies. I won't bore you with all of the, the weeklies, but they're, um, there. So this is the current week. So as you can see, I do still have a couple of little sticky things because, um, well, I'll show you for a So um, I'm not sure if these are going to happen. So I put them there in little sticky notes. And then when I come on Sunday to do the pre-planning, and yes, that's actually what I'm going to be able to do. So then I'll put them in there. So as you can see, um, my nail appointments are all booked 10 weeks in, a, in advance. So they're set in stone and I put them in and my hair booked for the rest of the year. So you'll see those, I'll put those appointments in. But this is what a clean page looks like. And so there's grid on both sides. They've got a faint line down here for to indicate lunchtime. As you can see, the times are across that way. Don't tend to, I kind of used it, but don't use it. Um, they've got these other little symbols here, which I've never worked out what they're for or how to use them. I'm sure they've got a purpose, but I don't know what it is. And over here, as you can see, if you really wanted to, to track the weather, you could sunny, cloudy, rainy, snow. We don't ever get snow here. If it snows here, we all need to run because we live in a tropical climate. Um, so 
I could probably just color those in and use them, which I might actually try and do that. Um, yeah, okay, so here's something I know I'm going into hospital. I mean, I should have another hospital for a week. Yeah, so that's, I've got all of those and they go right up to, look, see, there's March. So obviously I won't need these, but yeah, it goes all the way through to March. And then that's the end page. Then I've got these, these, I just love. These are my absolute favorite um, inserts from Plotter. They've um, got mission and they've got naught to 100%. So these are basically task, li task lists. Um, you can use the, um, uh, what's, his, what's it called? The method where you can put, use these different lines for different meanings, like uh, waiting on, uh, whatever, whatever, you, however you want to use them, or you can just use them like the the indicator says, like I've got, I've done twenty five percent, fifty percent, seventy five, a hundred percent. You can do that, tick it off, whatever, however you want to use them. But I love this because uh, I can see, I I will show you in a minute um how I use these. But you can put all your tasks down here, and then you've got this indicator to say whether or not that's completed. I know just lines would be, be okay, but I just really love the design of these. These are my absolute favorite and I'm just about out of them and I need to order more. So, um, and again, another one of these amazingly thin um, dividers. Uh, this is another Rosie Life Planner from another um, box. And this is um, another Rosie Life Planner where um, she goes over different uh, ways to stay motivated. This is uh, this is actually a sticker. This is a Midori sticker. So this is my YouTube and Instagram tracking that I'm going to use. I need. I've got a um, A6 um, day free coming from Hobonichi, and that's what I'm going to use to do my YouTube planning. So this is all my notes for YouTube and so on and um, about what I want to talk about. But then I've got some tracking and then I got another task list. So that's all that. Uh, again, another Rosie Life Plans uh, divider, which is great. Uh, now this is, um, because this is a file of facts and when I bought this, it came with a whole bunch of inserts. This is one of those, which I'll probably replace the card the plotter ones because this is quite thin and of course my planner's already too chunky. So another divider with my handsome grandson. So here is, this is my absolute master's list. So this, anything that I think I need to do goes down here and I have it color coded and this is the key that I use and underneath this is the little stickers. I have another sheet of these that indicate the color, the what they are so yellow means money pink is home youtube work health plan so that's what they're all color coded with down here really all i just want to do is like i said it's not to 100 percent whether or not i've completed and a tick so i can go down here and i go okay those two tasks are done that's not done they're not done that's not done that's not done and then um all the way anything i can think of goes on this list it's my master list my, my ride or die, anytime I think I need to do something, I add it to here. Then I'll go back and put the color code in so I know what, um, so say if I wanted to do catch up on, say for instance, I want to look and do uh, some budgeting. So today, yesterday was payday, so okay, I'll go do the, my budgeting task. So I'll go down and look at anything that relates to money and then make sure that I've got that tracked off. Home, okay, I want to do another home task. Go and find home and so on. That's that's how I'm using it. It's a method that I'm using to make sure that I keep and get things done. Um, I've got a master to, to buy list, which is another way of using these. And then these are just notes on things that I need to get done. Um, I've got these inserts. I uh, bought this file from Crefective Paper. My brain down. And um, I like the way this is set out in the four... Um, quadrant so then you've got must do can do I want I do not want so it's it's a great little tool to help you to use 
um, and there's no top of my brain dump. Again, this is just another task list of things I've got to do. This is business questions of things that I were doing. This is movies that I'd like to watch. So sometimes you sit there and you go, oh, what was the name of that movie? Or someone will tell you a movie, you should see this. I write it in here in case I ever want to find a movie that I want to watch. And then it's I can always refer to this list and go, okay, we can watch this, watch that, do this. Again, more little task lists. These are TV shows. Obviously, there's two pages of those. If I see a TV show that gets advertised, if I don't write it down, I'm going to forget what it is. So these are just TV shows that um, I want to watch. Some uh, business information. Just another. This is a quick little open flap. No idea where I got it from. Had it for years, but it's great. You can store stuff in there. And some more blank ones. Uh, this one's from Cat's Presso Co. I just love it. I just love it. So it just holds some stickers that I use regularly, some post-it notes, and then close her up. So handy to have. Now we're into finance. So this is May Paper Co., which is an Australian company. Now this is such a sturdy vellum. Love it. Again, little file effects. Again, just there for to make that look good. This is a file effects divider. Now this is personal finance information, so I'll click through. So yeah, so I, in here, what, um, I really, don't really want to show you my bills, but yeah. So basically what, um, okay, well I can probably show you this place. It's just subs. This is just, just software program. So what I wanted to do is because I just, sometimes you just feel like there's money just keeps coming out of my account. Who do I have to pay? What blah, blah, blah. And so I wrote down um, my planning subs and who I've got and how often they come out. Like for instance, uh, Coffee Monsters Co is quarterly. So I want to be prepared of what month they generally will come out and how, how much it is. Then I've got my monthly subs. I've got two monthly subs. And so I wanted to know how much I was up for. But then I've got software subs, like I've got Apple TV, I've got CapCut, Unfold, Adobe, all of that stuff. And it was just doing my head in because I just didn't know where I was. So I sat down and wrote them all down and the dates that they're due to come out and what's to come out. I also know um, whether it's coming out of my business account or personal account. So I just did that to try and get my head into order, basically. And then my budget's in there as well. Um, so these got people's names on, so I just can't quite show you those. So, um, this is my order list. So these are the, um, oh, this is another perfective paper, uh, insert. Um, so this is basically who I got it from and what it is or vice versa or whatever and got them around the wrong way. Um, what's really unusual about this is it doesn't have a date down here like it should have a date that you ordered it like for instance yesterday i ordered um a pen which is interesting because that pen i ordered two days ago and it's already arrived so what i do yes it's arrived and then i put today's date which is the 9th so 9th of the 10th so i know i would have got it so i put the date there so look at that two days um oh and that one's arrived too Lulu, okay, that's still to come, that's still to come. Um, I got my Sterling Ink, which would be the video before this. You'll see my unboxing, which is, there it is there. Ninth um, of the tenth. Okay, so it took a month. So yeah, so it's a good way to actually see how long things are taking to get here, but also I can see what I'm waiting on, where the gaps are. So. I quite like that insert. Oops, can't see that. That's not information. Okay, and then you get these other inserts, which I might just get a blank insert because it's no good showing you stuff. Okay, that's just a file effects insert that I put in there. This paper is divine. I'll show you this section here. Sorry about flipping, but there's obviously you can understand this pastel stuff. So I just use this, just, this is just a note. This is just me writing down little quotes that I find in um, a lot of the groups that I'm in. When you suffer from chronic pain, sometimes it, 
for me, it is uh, therapeutic to write down um, little quotes that, that um, I find about my, my illnesses. And sometimes it just helps. They can be funny, they can be whatever, or they can be just quite frank about saying, like this one here, I'm grieving a life I thought I would have. Just stuff like that. And I know it sounds weird why you're saying those things, but sometimes it actually really helps to write it down and also assimilate with people that are like-minded that are having the same sort of things so that's what I've been using these papers for and um, I just love the way this paper feels so surprisingly enough I might actually order some paper from Filofax uh, another rosy life plans this Filofax paper and this is an insert that I got from Crefective paper and it's a self-care challenge which I didn't obviously do, but I did write it down and it was good to write down things that you think are self-care for you. And obviously I've decorated it. Um, so it's actually quite good. Once you start putting things like that on paper, I think in your mind you start to own it a little bit, if that makes sense. Well, in that's how I think anyway. Um, Sunshine on my mind. That's Rosy Life Plans, if I'm on if I'm right. Okay, there's personal information. We've got to flip through all of that. We've got the trackers. Okay, so these, again, perfective paper. Uh, sleep trackers, which I've still got to finish filling that out. And steps. So that's my steps trackers. And then these are just normal uh, trackers. These ones I've got from May Paper Co., which I like it because it keeps me... Um, understanding whether or not um, I've got everything um, up to date. So today's Wednesday. So yes, I've done my meds, spoken to Gizmo, film for YouTube, nothing yesterday, but yep, and yep, and yep, and no. Um, so these trackers are good. So I'm going to have to get some more of these because I think I've only got two, two left. Um, again, more of these inserts you'll see them absolutely everywhere and then I can't do that it might be a spoiler alert in case my someone in my family might be on here so I better get through that and then these are other inserts from plotter so these are just I just don't know if you can see they're just I think these are five millimeter grids love these and the paper is just like butter uh, again this is a rosy life plan this is I think could have been in the sub but yeah this is just my year my vision for the year it's got my puppies it's got my grandson it's got my youngest and his girlfriend my grandson my son it just oh all my favorite things on the one page and more of my favorite things there is obviously lots of coffee monster coat again my favorite things uh cat's espresso it's just a single sheet Another one of those thick plotter sheets. And then some of my favorite people. Um, and so I've got uh, some uh, sticker release paper here. And these are just stickers that I commonly use in my planner. So I've, I have fill that up when I start running low. These are the little icons from Coffee Monsters Co. So these are great little inserts. These plotter folders. And the good thing about it is... Um, uh, so, for instance, this one here holds my passwords and addresses of people in case anything happens, I lose my phone, whatever. And so you won't see it because it's this great little folder. So they're called project folders. And so I like it because in this particular one, I haven't got it stuck in there. But what you can do is you can put your sheets of paper. I think I can actually show you the last one. So this is... Um, this was meant to be my YouTube uh, tracker. Fell off the wagon, that's January. Got nothing else in there. And then um, all of the videos that I wanted to film. But what I was trying to get at is you can put your um, inserts in and then you've got it held in by a little folder, which I think is pretty cool. I think they come in a set of five and they're in different colors. Might be five or six, but I'll link the plotter's website down below. Uh, again, just a little Filofax pocket, which I just stick a bit of ephemera in. And then a Made Paper Co. This is obviously a page lifter. 
Uh, in the back here, I've got a um, little to keep folder which you get your receipts from your sub for uh, cloth and paper. And I've just got some of my um, stickers that I've got from those subs in there. Just getting caught on the envelope there. And that just sits in there and pops up there. Um, in here again, just got some stickers and I um, printed out these freebies from Plan With B and they're just the calendars. Now, how I use that is here. So today's Wednesday and just like, I suppose you see so many of us, we tick it off. It's just, I think it's just a way of knowing where you are in the month and it really helps. And obviously I just color it in because I'm a little nuts like that. And then of course I've got a, um, uh, a clip in there. Uh, other pens fit in here. This is actually quite um, small. This is a, um, uh, oh God, how do you pronounce it? A, car a Karen Dinesh, Dinesh, Karen Dash. Karen Dash, Karen Dash, that's your Karen Dash. A Karen Dash pen, love it. It's got my fine nib in it, which I enjoy. And then that is basically my hunky chunky monkey, which I love it. It's so soft, it, I, I use it half a dozen times a day and it is really perfect. It's, it's got everything that I want. Um, next year I've got new, I've got plotter inserts, so they're gonna be exactly the same as those. and. Um, there might be a couple of other inserts that I might add, but for the time being, this is going to be the brains of the family and the other stuff is just um, additional, like my uh, little daily morning pages, which I will do a flip of that soon. But this is my every morning, I sit down with a cup of tea, a cup of coffee and I do my morning pages in here and it's been perfect. So that's it um, for this particular video. Um, I just wanted to give you an update on my EDC and show you what I'm doing at the moment. Um, I've got a few other videos. I've also just got this book, which I mentioned in my last video. I want to do a, um, a read through and see if I can get some stuff out of that and help. And um, I've got a few other videos in mind so if you've made it this far I really really appreciate it and if you could give me a thumbs up um, if you've got any comments or anything that you'd like me to look at I'm going to look at showing you doing how to do some or how I do uh, sticker storage because it's been asked if I can do that um, and I've got a couple of other videos in mind but if there's anything that you'd like me to talk about or film Please, if you can put it in the comments below, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, if you like what you see, I'd love it if you could subscribe and press the bell notification to know when we've uploaded another video. And um, again, really, really appreciate all your support. So talk to you really, really soon. Ciao for now. Bye.